Alrighty guys, so they say before you go out for the first time you should uh, put some marine grease on there which luckily they supplied us with. So I have already loosened up the uh, nub here on the uh, shaft or the dog bone right there. I've gone ahead and loosened that so I should just be able to grab the uh, propeller here and pull the whole shaft out and there you go it uh, has not been greased yet so uh, let's go ahead and grease this up see you guys in a sec so they only give you enough to do the grease job one time that was all of the grease in the container what I'm gonna do is go ahead and lay the drive shaft right on there and I'm just gonna lightly drag it all the way up a couple times make sure it's got a good coating of grease all over it all the way back I want it to have a nice nice coating of grease all the way up like I said they only give you enough to do the job it looks like one time then you gotta go get some marine grease about whatever keeps the friction down right all right, I'd say that's uh, pretty greased up. Let's, uh, let's insert this back in there and see if we can uh, <clears throat> get this to all work properly. I'm going to go ahead and slide this in nice and slow. Big old pot of grease now in the back. All right, grease job is done. Things are spinning nice and smoothly now. That brushless motor feels really hardcore. This should be a really good time. I gotta go get some uh, double A's in the in uh, in the morning, but uh, we are ready. This is all charged up. I just gotta get some double A's. Um, I really didn't find a reason for this to be on there, so I went ahead and removed it so I can access the controls a lot easier. I have no plans to drop this in the water. <laughs> Honestly, I have no kind of clue what this is for. It just seemed a little pointless to me So I just went ahead and just kind of popped it off if I want to I can put it back on there, but uh, Not not for me. I want to be able to access my controls easily without having to flip my thumb up and then start messing with things So all right, let's go take this thing out here in the morning Well, I woke up to another day of awesome rain. I'm not sure how long this is going to last um, it's kind of dreary in Tampa today. Everything just looks really hazy and crappy out. So, I don't know, man. Hopefully when I get to where I'm going, it'll be a little brighter and it won't be raining. Because this really sucks. Hey guys, I'm at my location down here. I've got this awesome little pond to go play in. Uh, I wish it was a little larger, but for testing purposes, I didn't want something huge. I wanted something where I can see all the wind is blowing in one direction in case I have to recover the boat for any reason. Uh, it does take six, <laughs> six double A's. I've got everything bound now. It's scary. It uh, sounds like it's going to be aggressive. So uh, let me put my hat band on. We'll take it out there and we'll uh, kick it around the water a bit. I'll see you in a sec. All right, let's carefully climb down here. We're going to test the self-writing feature right off the bat to make sure that that works good. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it in upside down. And all I should have to do is put it in reverse and give it throttle forward. And it should. Let's hope I don't sink in this here. <laughs> oh, we're good. Okay, it's like a little beach. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and float it in upside down, give it reverse throttle. And uh, it should write itself. Everything's locked down. We got a good connection. Let's go ahead and just... Oops, nope. <laughs> Not going to happen. Well, let's... uh. Let's see what it can do. Oh, I'm depressed. That's top speed. Just kidding. It needs some serious steering trim. But it's a pretty quick boat. Look at that rooster tail. It's crazy. Let's, uh, let's see if we can give her some steering trim here. Let's send it back out there. See if we can get that trim figured out. It's got a really nasty pull to the, there we go. Oh yeah, this thing is sick. This is a quick little boat here. 
Man, it can turn on a dime too. Look at that. That is crazy. Wow, this thing is uh, a lot of fun. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> With a bigger prop, this would be crazy, crazy. Man, it could just carve. Look at that rooster tail. That is insane. Oh, my God. All right, let's see if we can get this self-writing feature to work here. I'm going to go ahead and just flip it around here. I don't want to drop my phone in the water. And flop it in upside down. All right, self-writing feature test. Reverse forwards. Reverse forwards. There we go. It works perfect. Awesome. Man, it's just so quick. Holy mackerel. Well, I can see what they're saying with a bigger prop. I bet this thing is super fast. Now, guys, I have no means of rescuing the boat, so I'm probably not going to be driving it for too long. But I can tell you right now, wow, I just sprayed myself with water. I can tell you right now that uh, that... Uh, cooling hole is working because I'm seeing water pouring out of it if you guys can see that so it is doing its job even at low speeds I can see why they said this is the second generation they have actually knocked out a number of problems with this boat because I'm going decently slow and I'm seeing water shooting out of the hole let's see how slow I can go let's back it up a little bit here there we go take it out of here real slow <laughs> this thing is crazy. That rooster tail is pretty uh, serious. All right, let's bring it around here. And see how slow I can go and still get water pouring out of it when it planes off. It's got water, so you have to be going enough that it's out of the water to get water to come out of it. So this is about the speed that it's going to continue cooling the motor at. This thing is awesome. <laughs> I'm so easily amused by fast toys. Oh, dude, it just went underwater and then came back out. That was crazy. It was a little submarine for a second. See if I can make some waves for it to hit. We'll carve a little bit deeper here. We'll get a nice little churn going. See if I can make some rough water. Let's see, let's see how much water we got going on here. I don't want to suck any of that stuff up. So the nice thing about this is that it comes with this little, uh, let me see if I can do this without hitting the throttle, because that brushless motor would tear me up. So it's got this nice little uh, rubber thing that you can move aside and see how much water you've got in it. And I have none. No water, guys. So this boat came very well sealed. I am very, uh, very surprised by that. A lot of owners were saying they were having problems uh, with theirs not being sealed very good. Uh, this one does not seem to have that problem. So let's see if we can get her in there upside down again. There we go. Self-writing feature. Backwards, forwards, and it's upright again. Look at that. This is awesome. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I'm so easily amused by this. It just carves through the water, man. This boat is awesome. A Mustang stopping to check me out real quick. Let's bring it in closer because I don't know what the runtime is on this battery. Try to keep it somewhat close. Okay, so I have to recover it. It just sounds good. It's just fun. <laughs> that is a 3500 kV motor, guys, on an 11.1 3S battery. And uh, it's a little rocket, man. Luckily, that water's pretty cold, so it's definitely helping, definitely helping with the uh, ESC and the motor heat today because that water's pretty chilly. Look at that, dude. It will turn on a dime. That is not a joke. Feels like it's starting to slow down a bit. I could be wrong. I think the battery's kind of getting to the end of its run time. Because it's not going as fast as it was. Yep, that's it. That's it. It's giving me little spurts. That's recovery. So it gives you a little bit of ability to tap the throttle once the battery dies to bring it back. It like builds up a little bit of a juice for you to bring it back. This thing is uh Yep. Yep, yep, she's out of juice. That's it. That's it. I'll tell you what, man. This thing is fun. That was awesome. Good time. Just a good time. All right, see you guys in a sec. So we had the smallest amount of water in there, and as you can see, the grease that I put on the uh, drive shaft is has kind of sprayed itself out, so we'll be able to wipe that off. But just the tiniest, if they if you had a cup of water, it was like that much water in it. Um, and the cooling system works great because this motor is just basically warm. The battery is pretty hot, but the, the motor itself is warm. So you can see there was water all up in these lines. It was doing very good. There's still water up in this line here. So the cooling system works great on this. And uh, excellent, excellent little run time. I was very surprised. But, uh, you know, on a 3,500 kV motor, that's a pretty impressive run time. So very fun. All right, guys, drone worship from somewhere in Tampa, Florida. Tootaroo. Thank <laughs> you.